Today, I'm going to show you how to turn a pair of high-waisted jeans into a pair of shorts. I'm also going to show you some methods you can use to make your shorts look distressed if you like. So I love jeans. I love all types of jeans. But I only have one pair that has been naturally distressed over time. I've had this pair for about 10 years. They used to be dark jeans without a single rip, but I've worn them down over the years. That's what's so great about a good pair of distressed jeans. They grow with you. They experience what you experience. This pair of jeans has been all over the world with me. They've rolled in the sand in Barcelona, and they've been bleached in the sun on long summer road trips. I have another pair of jeans that have been manufactured to look distressed. I like the way they look, but they don't hold the same stories and secrets that my other pair do. The greatest thing about finding a good pair of thrifted jeans is that they have a whole life they've lived without you. And there's no way of knowing what type of magic they have until you put them on. When picking out a perfect pair of thrifted jeans, make sure you find some that are made out of high quality denim. Brands like Calvin Klein and Levi's tend to be the best. Try your jeans on in the mirror and mark them with a pencil where you'd like to cut them. Make sure to give yourself a little extra room because you can't go back if you cut them too short. I like to cut them at an angle so that they're slightly shorter at the hips and longer at the inseam. Once you cut them, try them on a few times and make adjustments. Just use your pencil and scissors until you find the perfect shape. As a rule of thumb, I always try to keep two inches from the crotch. So just make sure that you leave at least that much when you're cutting. I use a ruler just to make sure. You can also fold the jeans in half and make a mark on the other side just so they are even. Once you have a shape you like, you can either roll them up like this and iron them flat, or you can let them fray. It turns out that I actually like this pair of jeans rolled up and I'm not going to fray them at all. Once you wash them a couple times, they will kind of fray on their own anyway. But if you would like to add some extra fray and extra distress to your jean shorts, here are a few things you can do. If you'd like to fray or distress your shorts, all you're going to need is a pair of scissors and tweezers, preferably tweezers that are sharp at the end. In order to fray them, just pick at the white threads that are sticking out. Most jeans are made up of white and blue threads that are woven together. So use your tweezers and pull back at the white threads as far as they'll go, and you will see that it starts to fray. Because I don't want to distress the shorts that I've just created, I'm going to show you how to do this on the scraps from the shorts that I made. These are the legs of the original jeans that I had. It's also a good idea to use these legs to practice your distressing methods before you do it on your actual pair of shorts. If you'd like to make a patch where the white threads are exposed like this, cut two parallel lines with your scissors, and then use your tweezers to pull out the blue threads. I wove together a piece of blue construction paper and a piece of white paper to illustrate exactly what's happening here. Essentially, you will use your tweezers to pull out each of these blue threads, and you're going to have to unweave them from the white threads. Because the jeans that I found were particularly old, the fabric was a little worn down and it was hard for me to pull out the blue threads individually because they just came apart in the tweezers. So I had to kind of manually unweave each piece of blue from the white. Hopefully you guys have a little bit of an easier time when you're doing your shorts. Once you've created a pair of shorts that you like, keep in mind that when you put it in the wash and put it in the dryer, it will shrink up a little bit and it will become shorter and fray more. So leave yourself a little extra room when fraying and distressing. So here's my final pair of shorts. They're a very simple version. I didn't do any distressing, but I encourage you to try it on your own or try it on some scraps because it's really fun, actually. You can listen to an audiobook while you uh, use some tweezers and get all those threads out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Send me photos of your shorts and jeans creations. I would love to see them. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on these videos, and I will see you guys next time.